Got to rotate to the ball if you're Azar Thompson. This pass gets swung this way. I'm immediately dropping to the three-point line. I get in the gaps. You're just standing. Again, I mean, this defense is just not fair to Jalen Duran. Like, you got to switch this screen, okay? Jalen Duran can get up. You'll have help in the gaps right here. You'll have help in the gaps right here. Instead, you're giving up two-on-ones. Look at this. You're letting Joel Embiid with a full head of steam get downhill, and you're not even over here yet because you were in drop coverage. Okay, so... Cade Cunningham needs to be seeing both the ball and his man. That's not happening right now. You're just staring at the ball. Stop. So that's why you're late to get up here. But Stanley Amude, rotate to the ball so we're in the gaps, right? None of this stuff happens. Again, I mean, the Pistons are a poorly coached team. That's obvious. Marcus Sasser, this ball gets swung to Shake Milton. I'm rotating to the ball. I'm staying in this gap right here. Why are you coming out to Tobias Harris? If my feet are set, I can get this dribble picked up. What are you doing? Get up on Embiid right here. Stop. First of all, Marvin Bagley's got to be flipping his hips and forcing Embiid to where you have help. Marcus Sasser's coming over here, but get up. You have help. Look at this. What? Stop running drop coverage. Get up. You can force Maxi right here. Killian Hayes gets underneath. He's in the gaps too. Why am I giving Tyrese Maxi the lane? What are you doing? You're Marcus Sasser. You have help everywhere. Cade Cunningham comes all the way over here to help, and Killian Hayes is here. He can move over a little bit, but so if you're Marcus Sasser, just show your hands. You have help, okay? The worst thing, Marcus, look at this. So you're not showing your hands. Just slide your feet and show your hands. You have help. You have help. What? Now you're off balance. You don't even force... If you're Jalen Duren, you got to get underneath Paul Reed here. What, I don't, what is Jalen Duren doing? Why is he playing over the top? So that draws backside help, and now there's no one to get to Kelly Oubre. Pump fake right to the rim. So I'm not sure why Azar Thompson isn't forcing Tobias Harris this way, but Cade Cunningham's going to come over here. Okay, so you, again, you got to show your hands. This is good. We're showing our hands. We're going to force Tobias Harris. Now, Cade Cunningham's got to get over here right into help. Okay? But again, you stop showing your hands. you got your hands on Tobias Harris right now. So that allows him to spin away from that help. There is no reason to be playing off of Maxi. Get up. Force Maxi. Now, Azar Thompson's got to rotate over, but you have help. Why would you just... What? This ball screen defense. The Pistons just operate a layup line. Why? Isaiah Stewart, switch. You're get Azar Thompson can switch. Okay, we have help right here with Jalen Dirty. You're going to force him right into help right here. Okay? Instead, look at the Pistons. Well, let's just get layup line. What is Isaiah Stewart doing? Just set the screen, okay? Maybe they switch and you can get a mismatch down low. Maybe they're going to be in drop coverage. Instead, you don't set any screen. Why? So, pff, instant steal. Oubre's gone. Cannot run drop coverage on pick and pops. you got to switch and force Tyrese Maxey to help. Killian Hayes can get underneath and battle with Joel Embiid. You run drop coverage on a pick and pop. This is shoot around. Cross screen, a well-coached team has no issue with this. A poorly coached team does. Marcus Asser's got to get attached and jammed to Bias Harris as he comes through so Isaiah Stewart can get on the other side. You don't do that, this happens. Poorly coached team. Okay, if you're Killian Hayes, first of all, you're playing on an angle. You're giving Tyrese Maxey this angle. Then you need to get up and force Mac. Now, you have all the help in the world here, so that makes sense. But you got to get up. Your feet are not leveled to each other. If he comes this way, you're not going to be able to slide your feet and stay in front. So that's, of course, exactly what happens. And I don't know what Cade Cunningham's doing. He needs to be over here with his back to the baseline so he can be in help. None of that happens. Again, you're running your idiot drop coverage as opposed to Azar Thompson getting underneath and James Wiseman just forcing Tyrese Maxey into help right here. You're giving up two-on-ones. This is some defensive scheme. How much they pay Monty Williams for that? Do not worry about the ball in transition when it's across half court. You're Killian Hayes. Don't stare at the ball. Cade Cunningham. Don't just focus on sprinting back. Sprinting back. Everyone's focused on the ball. It's across half court. Well, now Maxie's ahead of everyone. Zard Thompson's got to sprint back in transition. I got to get ahead of the ball so I can be in the gaps. Look at Azar Thompson jogging, jogging, jogging. I should be here. No place for Maxie to go. You got to help Azar Thompson right here. Cade Cunningham's got to rotate to the ball. Isaiah Stewart's got to rotate to the ball. Azar Thompson should be playing on an angle right here as opposed to giving Tobias Harris this angle, forcing him right here where there should be help. But there's no help. 
So this, there's no scheme here. Cade Cunningham, just slide your feet and guard. Look at Cade Cunningham gamble. Look at him trying to get a kick ball. Look at that, trying to get a kick ball. Why? Pistons are in their stupid drop coverage. That's, I guess, not the problem here. Cade Cunningham, what, you can't be staring at the ball. I got to get over to Tobias Harris. He's in the paint. I got to battle and get him out of here. Like, what, what are you standing in the... So now Tobias Harris catches. Is he too low now?